Hello and welcome to a vlog, a week in the life, a week, a week in my life as a PhD student. It is the first full week that I'm back into the lab during the summer. I took half of last week off. Um, so yeah, today is May 11th, nope, 10th. And it's Monday, and on Mondays I have my meetings with JPL, and I honestly don't ever look forward to these meetings. They usually stress me out a lot, I usually get quite anxious before them, and leaving the meeting I usually feel like I'm very overwhelmed and have a lot to do. So we'll see how the meeting goes today. My advisor won't be joining us because he's down in Bear's Ears, so it'll just be me and the uh, JPL head honcho man that I meet with. So that's the plan for today. I also have to do some fixation stuff in the lab with some samples for microscopy tomorrow. I unfortunately can't really take my phone into the lab because I do work in microbiology lab and you're not supposed to have your phone in there. I'm working with organisms that could give me pneumonia, so phones aren't really allowed in there. But I guess for background, I am a chemical engineering PhD student at Montana State University and I work in the Center for Biofilm Engineering and I'm currently doing projects along the lines of figuring out how to use material coatings to reduce biofilm growth on the International Space Station. So I grow biofilms and I try to stop growing biofilms. Yeah, so anyway, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> So right now I'm working on critical point drying some samples for my SEM training tomorrow. I guess it's FEM, force electron microscopy. This will take like 30 minutes and then I have to do another set. So lots of microscopy stuff today. Hey yo, so I'm just leaving the lab now. It's like 2 p.m. So I did about six hours, which is historically what I try to do on during the summers. And like during breaks and stuff is maybe six hours a day. Lots of microscopy stuff. I have quite a few other things I could have done today, but I just like don't have the energy or mental capacity for it right now. So I'm allowing myself to go home. And I'm actually going to stop on the thrift store on the way home, see if they have any fabric that I could buy for some sewing projects because that's one of my hobbies and like stress relieving activities and stuff. So pretty easy day. My meeting with JPL went really well. It was just me and the one guy um, and it was like a 13 minute long meeting. So yeah, typical Monday. Good morning. It is Tuesday. It is just after 6 a.m. Uh, my boyfriend wanted to wake up early so he could go on a run. So I'm up really early, but that's okay because I should probably go into the lab quite early as well. Um, I think I'm going to do one more dehydration and um, critical drying before my microscopy training at 10, which means I gotta get there at like 7. Uh, it's gonna be a long day today. Uh, but the microscopy training is about the only thing I really have on the plant on the docket for today. I need to also like get some tubes and stuff ready to go, um, which I can try and do in between steps of like the drying and dehydration stuff. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Today's breakfast. Bagel and cream cheese and some banana. Probably won't be enough to get me through the day, but I don't really have time to make eggs and stuff like that this morning. Oh, and I'm out of eggs. More drying for my microscopy training session in like an hour and 30 minutes. Woo. I'll come back in like 10 minutes to vent this because this pressure has to come down to like 300 before I can hit vent. Alright, I just finished my last training course for the 
force electron microscopy. It went really well. I'm pretty excited to be able to like go off and do my own thing now with it and not always have to be under direct supervision. It is 107. I've already been in the lab for seven, nope, six hours. Uh, <laughs> and normally I only do six hour days in the summer, but I still have quite a lot of stuff that I need to get done today. But first I need to pee and eat because I'm starving. And I slammed like a liter of water before the microscopy course. And, and then I was like sitting at the chair for three hours and oh my gosh. Okay, so I'll check in with you later. All right, it's like 2.15 now, I'm out. I can't, I can't be there any longer. Um, honestly, there wasn't that much left for me to do today anyway. So I'm on my way home, I'm probably gonna do, oh, I wanna look at the images that I took on the microscope. I mean, I know what they look like, but I still like to look back at them. Um, and then I probably am going to do some more sewing tonight, start a new project, or I should probably do some reading. I have this book that I've been reading for fun and I kind of slacked on it the last week or so. So maybe I should do that, sit outside and read. I don't know, but I'll show you some of the images I got. Okay, I just got home and I'm actually going to go for a bike ride instead of any of those things that I previously mentioned. <laughs> Um, it looks like the weather is about to turn, so I think I'm going to go for a quick ride, see how far and stuff I can go before hopefully getting, ho not hopefully getting rained on, but before getting rained on, hopefully I can get home and everything. Um, but it looks pretty nice and I need to exercise. <laughs> so that's my plan. When I get back, I will show some of the images that I took though, because they are pretty cool. Uh, force electron microscopy is super duper cool. Okay, as promised, here's some of the pictures. Um, there's no bacteria in that, but it's kind of cool. Um, these are some other pictures where I had a hard time finding bacteria. I think this right here is a bacteria cell. It's about a micron, which makes sense for length. But otherwise, it just kind of looked like a sponge. It was kind of cool, so I took pictures of it. Um, and then I don't know what this thing up here is, but also pretty cool looking. It was like a gash in the metal that I took a picture of. Let's see if I can find. Oh, here's some actual bacteria. So those are, all those rod shaped things are all bacteria. This is Pseudomonas aeruginosa, uh, which is a rod shaped bacteria cell. There's a bunch of it. This is grown on Teflon and Teflon is actually what you use to like non-stick coat on pans, but bacteria love growing on it. So I have quite a few pictures. The focus on this one isn't that great, which kind of bothers me looking back at it. Um, but I ended up getting the focus better for some of them. So this is all bacteria. All of these big orb things are like mineral salts from the food that we feed the bacteria in the reactors. So the uh, triptych soy broth. And this is a really zoomed out picture. So all these dark, darkest spots is where all the bacteria are growing and then all those orbs are the mineral salt stuff. This is, I think, one of my favorite pictures. And yeah, this is kind of what SEM pictures look like. Oh, apparently Windows doesn't support this file format. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Windows. <laughs> hey everyone, it is Wednesday, my dudes. Oh! <laughs> So today on the docket, I have to sample one of the reactors that I have going. I'm trying to grow some bacteria and yeast together, which is kind of a pain if you've ever tried to do that. They don't like each other. Um, and then I uh, don't really know what else I have going on today. Should be a pretty easy day. Typically on Wednesdays, we have our lab meetings at 11, I think is the time we changed it to, but my PI is out of town. He's in the desert right now, taking some time off after the semester. So, no meeting today. Um, today might be a shorter day, kind of, after yesterday being a little bit of a longer day. We'll see, but nothing too, too crazy going on. Um, yeah.
I'm in the lab right now. I still have quite a bit to do today, but I really don't feel good. My like chest is really sore and hurts and I, my eyes are like sore and hot, which usually is a sign that I'm getting sick. And I did get my last COVID vaccine on Friday, which is now like five days ago, but this seems pretty late to be getting like an immune response from it. I don't know, I don't feel good. So I'm gonna try to get out of here by like maybe one or 2 p.m. Uh. I just got home from the lab and took my temperature. So 97.1, so I'm fine, temperature wise at least, but I think I'm gonna take some ibuprofen and just like lay in bed and mindlessly scroll Instagram because <laughs> I just don't feel good. My whole body is really, really sore and I just feel meh. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but ugh. Hello, so it's Thursday and I left my phone at home today actually. I just got home, it's like 2.30. Um, I realized I left my phone at home when I got to the lab and I was like, ah crap, I'm the world's worst YouTuber because <laughs> I use my phone to record. But anyway, I got to the lab at like 8.45 this morning and I left at 2.15 and uh, I had to do some sampling of biofilm and I also had to pour some auger plates and that was honestly most of it. Uh, not too, too busy of a day. But yeah, so now I'm home and I think I'm actually going to film some other YouTube videos to keep content coming up. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Um, again, sorry I left my phone at home. I'm so bad at this whole YouTube thing. Oh well. <laughs> What's up? It's Friday. Um, it's 8 a.m. I have so little work to do in the lab today but I spent the night at my boyfriend's and he left to go climbing this morning, which means that I also woke up early this morning. Um, I'm doing a waste run for like biohazardous waste from noon to two, I have the autoclave reserved, but I'm pretty sure all I, all, everything else I have to do today is just like counting plates. And I guess I might start doing some statistics, but statistics are like my least favorite part of data collection. So, let's do it. I just kind of wanted to explain what I meant when I say that I'm counting plates. I'm literally just going through and counting colonies of these like drops. Um, and that's what I do when I count plates. Kind of mindless. Sometimes takes quite a long time. Just me and my trash, and then I'm almost able to go home. It's like 1, not 1 p.m., 1 p.m.? Yeah, um, and there's more things that I could be doing today, but I just don't want to. So I'll do them on Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just pretty burnt from this week, from just having like the full week back in the lab. It's kind of exhausting. So yeah, just gotta throw these homies out and go home. <laughs> So I forgot to do an outro yesterday, um, today's Saturday, and it's okay that I forgot to do an outro because I'm actually going to the lab again today on Saturday. It's like 10.30 in the morning and I just have to count plates and then I'm out of here and I'm actually getting ready for a camping trip after I'm done counting plates. So let's do that and then it will truly be a week in my life because I do typically have to come in at least one, maybe both days of the weekend. All right, it's 30 minutes later. I'm done in the lab. I counted all my plates. I actually had to switch a carboy too, which I had forgotten about. So good thing I came in anyway to count the plates. Um, but yeah, this is like a typical kind of week in my life as a PhD student. During the summer, luckily no classes, a lot less meetings, 
more time in the lab. Um, I will be trying to get back into like writing and presenting and like creating presentations and stuff like that, but I just really needed to be in the lab a lot this week and probably next week. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next one. That's all I got for you. <laughs> Bye.